What is up you guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling chat. Well, oh my god. I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, we are continuing the item shop switch over. This will be uh, Wednesday, sorry, this will be Tuesday night, taking us into early Wednesday morning. Apparently, I can't catch my breath. But yeah, also want to let you guys know that I have done a Saints Row video. It is age restricted, but... Definitely recommend checking it out if you are old enough. But what we're going to get tonight in three, two, one, let's go! Okay, we're going to return to some pretty decent items. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, starting us off with the return of the Joy skin. Joy, she's ready to roll. Part of the free skate set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. Now, she does have two styles. This is her default. And then recently enough, she had an alternate introduced, which is this one. Loving the fire pattern by the way. Also love the fact that we've got some diversity in here with like the Vertiligo and stuff like that. Absolutely love that. Moving us on to her including loading screen, we have the Joyride. Skate on. Looking pretty damn cool. We've got the Drift skin there. We've got the cat um, pet. We've got the dog pet. We've got Joy herself. We've got Doggo. We've got the um, Summer Bomber skin. I can never remember what his name is on the back. Isn't that the bone skin where he's got like the blue flames coming out of his mouth? Isn't that him? I think so. Anyway, moving away from this, we do have an icon series emote that does come part and parcel with this little bundle. Um, that is inspired by um, Doja Cat and that is Roller Vibes. Just skating and vibing out here. Part of the Roller Vibes. Pretty much, uh, it is kind of, um, well, it is a traversal emo, but I was going to say, it is kind of like, I just call it Doja Cat skin because it pretty much comes with its own emo, which is Doja Cat's official, you know, music emo. But anyway, really cool little bundle. I mean, it's more of a skin showcase than a bundle, but, you know, we move. Anyway, moving on to the return of the Rainbow Bubblegum, which is a pretty damn cool rap. Again, not overly animated or um, reactive, but again, just a nice little simple uh, rap to go with the Joy skin. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Stash D skin. Looking pretty cool. No one said being fresh was easy. Part of the fashion forward set. First introduced in chapter three, season one. Looking pretty damn cool. Now, we do have two alternates for this. So this is the default. Sorry, we do have two styles for this, not two alternates. Anyway, we've got the default with the llama. And then we have the alternate with the tomato head again pretty much the same with the skins last night um whatever becomes white is black and then whatever what, what whatever was black is white pretty cool again you guys can pretty much see maybe that that's jonesy kind of looks like jonesy i can see blonde eyebrows anyway moving us on to his bat bling or sorry harvesting tool i should say he doesn't come with a bat bling we have the fit stick if the bat fits swing away cheese so from what I can make out, we've got the color team leader on there. I can't see what the other skin is. I think it is like an alternate to the color team leader. But yeah, pretty damn cool. Nice little white and black um, baseball bat. Moving us on to the return of the jelly skin. The anemone you don't want for an enemy. Part of the fish food set. First introduced in chapter two, season one. Pretty damn cool skin. As you guys can see, we have the default jelly now. And then we have the alternate, which is the tropical jelly. Again, I still can't figure out which one came out during chapter two, season seven. Oh my God. My alarm was going on. Anyway, uh, I can't remember which one came out during chapter two, season seven, during the um, undercover summer season last year. I think it was this one that was introduced. It was either this one or the Toxo version of the Oxyotal skin. I can't remember. Anyway, absolutely love this one. Because it looks like it looks like it's like it been covered in slurp. Anyway, moving us onto the Shelly back bling. That's one tough Shelly. Looking pretty cool. We have various styles for this. We have the default. We have the green version, which is the green and purple. Looking pretty cool. Every time I see this back bling, and I'm going to say it till I'm blue in the face. Every time I see this back bling, it just makes me hope and pray that we eventually get Ninja Turtle skins in the game. That's all we need. Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. And my luck is complete. I don't need any more skin. That's all I need. Anyway, moving away from this, we have the skin style that actually suits the skin. Is the rainbow version. Pretty cool. I just don't think that this, I don't know, this is just like a base shell. Whereas this one, I feel like suits the skin basely. 
This should have been the default, and then this should have been the alternate. Anyway, um, enough of me trashing somebody's probably favourite skin. Moving us on to the return of the Immortal Sans bundle that we have returned in the item shop. Now, I have covered this in the Is It or Is It Not Worth It bundle video, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on it. But we've got various styles for various skins. So we've got the Scimitar skin. Razor sharp and battle ready. So you guys can see you can have it with the mask on You can have the mask removed and have him with the hood on and then you can have him with no mask and no hood Moving us on to the female skin. We have the sandstorm timeless warrior again We have her with the mask on and the hood and then we have her with no headdress or no hood or mask on Moving us on to the contrail with the chrono Timeless classic now again epic Fortnite. if you guys have seen or watching this video, please Give us more contrails other than the ones that we actually just get in the battle pass. Would really appreciate it. Anyway, moving away from this, we have the return of the animated emblem wrap. Now, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. As you guys can see, it's got a nice little shimmer effect there going across the hieroglyphs. Looking really, really cool. Solid. I think it suits the skins really well. Definitely recommend grabbing this. Now, I do own two items, well, I own every item of this other than the Scimitar skin. So, for 200 V-Bucks, I pretty much get the male skin with two alternate styles, which I think is pretty much um, a good steal. I'm actually going to actually, ugh, I'm actually going to buy it this time. Anyway, moving us on to the daily store, which most of you guys are probably here for. We have the return of what was an OG skin, but not anymore, the Rare Expert. Oh, sorry, Recon Expert. Rare Recon Expert Outfit. Now, she does have two subtle styles. So we've got the default with the bucket hat on, and then we have the alternate without the hat on. Again, very, very subtle, but people like what they like, and people appreciate the small changes. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Scarlet Defender skin. Poised for victory. First introduced in OG Season 3. Two styles, you can have her with the default with no hat, and then the alternate has a hat on. From what I remember, this is the Chinese New Year skin, from what I believe. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the emote centric daily store. We have the return of one icon series emote, and that is Pump Up the Jam. Part of the uh, original, um, what's it called again? <laughs> I forgot the film, Space Jam. That's it. This was featured in the original Space Jam. Pump it up. Dance moves, dance moves by Pirikili. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. Moving us swiftly on, we have the return to Step It Up. Do a little jig. First introduced in OG Season 3. Jeez! Moving us on to the return of the Disc Spinner, one of my personal favourites. Put on a show. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Jeez! Jeez! Moving us on to the last but not least, we have the Face Par, which most of you guys are probably doing at the end of this item shop video, but. You know, it is what it is. The cringe is real. First introduction OG season three. Fun fact, I don't actually use the word cringe because I feel like using the word cringy on somebody is kind of another way of taking the piss out of them subtly. But that's another, that's another, that's a, that's a story for another time. Anyway, moving us on to the return of what we have to be the Goldbound bundles. We have the Star Player Makers, which comes with four female skins. And then we have the Champions of the Pitch, um, it comes with another four skins. Sadly, uh, we don't get a Jonesy skin in this bundle. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the gold bound um, emotes and bundles. So we have the return of the Elite Cleat Harvesting Tool. We have the Vuvuzela um, Harvesting Tool. We have the gold bound Grider. We have the Kickups emote. And then we have the red card um, emote. Not going to go in depth on these because these have come back time and time again and pretty much you guys would have known these. I think I did cover these in a bundle video. I'm sure I covered them. I think I went through an item shot that was like 14, 15 minutes long where I went through all of them. As you guys can see at the bottom now, we have the return of the Rainbow Royale. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, as it's not advertised enough to hell, we have the return of Pride this month. So, yeah. Fortnite is giving us some free items, or they were free last time. I got them because they were free. You know, I'm not going to turn down anything that's free. But anyway, we have the Take a Bow emote. Make it rain. Bow. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. Moving us on to the Wild Rainbow Wrap. Not animated or reactive, but pretty much like having a uh, rainbow llama. Which is pretty cool. I like it. I actually like this wrap. Anyway, moving us on, we have various sprays. We have the Vibrant Heart. We have the Vibrant Boogie. 
we have the Vibrant Llama. And then last but not least, we have the Vibrant Star. Pretty cool. I mean, they're free items. I'd take advantage because they're free. Um, moving us on to the return of the Dune Bundle. Um, somebody did ask me in the comments down below if I did a um, movie review on the Dune film. That came out um, before I started doing my Is It What Is It Not Worth It bundle videos. Um, but yeah, if the second part comes out, I'll probably do like a review on the first and second part. So I'll like rewatch the first part, do a review on it just in time for the second part to come out in the cinema. But yeah, um, I will get onto that when the film does come out. But it's a really, really cool bundle. I would definitely recommend going to check it out if you guys haven't seen the movie already or if you haven't got this bundle already. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Balenciaga Knights and the Balenciaga Unleashed. You guys would have known we've had these bundles for the last couple of days now. Uh, maybe coming up to maybe... Yeah, maybe just shy of a week, I think. Am I saying that right? Anyway, moving us on to the skins that you can buy singly. We still have... Um, the Balenciaga skins that you can buy singly, even if you just wanted one of the wraps or the harvesting tool, which I think is pretty cool. Even an emote. I didn't expect this bundle when it first came out to have an emote, but apparently it does. Anyway, moving us on to last but not least, we have the special offers and bundles. But yeah, guys, pretty cool item shop, pretty decent item shop. We've got some really cool items in here, some really strong items in here. But anyway, that was the item shop from um, Wednesday, the 15th of June, taking this from Tuesday into Wednesday morning. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know what is your favorite item from this item shop tonight. Is it the free pride items? Is it the joy bundle or joy mini showcase? Is it the stash D skin? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the team. Let's catch a vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as But more importantly, don't forget to stay the vibe and I'll catch you all in the multiverse. Peace.